In this capacitor bank video, I'm going to be dumping the capacitor bank into uh, some small, old, useless capacitors. Some electrolytic, some are uh, like the one shown in the water glass here that's already hooked up. It's a uh, film capacitor. So a few film caps, a few electrolytics, let's give this a try. I'm going to try this film capacitor first. Let's give this a go. Charging, charged, and... Well, that blew everything to bits. So much for my, uh water container that had the power of a firecracker to it. Since the first shot with the film cap completely blew away my gas container, I've uh, rigged up a new plastic container that hopefully won't get blown bits like the glass one did. We'll give this a try. There's now a 50 volt 25 microfarad axial lead electrolytic in here. Let's give this a try. Charging. Charge. Again, everything blown all over the room. That went straight up to the ceiling, which I'll try and uh, show here. You can see water got blown straight up into the light fixture by the power of that shot. plastic cup survived the blast, where the glass one sadly didn't. And we can see bits of the glass one lying all over. Uh, I suppose I could go again here, the plastic one's still intact. Since everything's been blowing up in this video, let's uh, go for broke. I've put in a nice big 1000 microfarad 25 volt aluminum can electrolytic that has no uh, overpressure venting on it that I can see. So let's whack this with the cap bank and see what it does. Let's give this big electrolytic a try. Charging, charged, and... Well, not as bad as a blast as the other times were. Now the capacitor is still uh, apparently uh, intact in there. Here we can get a quick look at the results. This was the film capacitor that went first. It's a tiny bit of the uh, epoxy shell left and the guts were just pulverized. This uh, small electrolytic, the 50 microfarad, 25 volt, just whatever happened to it, it formed into a very strange crushed shape. The last one I did, the great big thousand microfarad uh, 15, 16 volts, I think that one is. Yeah, 16 volts. 
it just got a tiny little split and uh, vented in the water, not doing very much at all. So that last big one must have been all dried out inside. Oh well, we'll try another big one underwater sometime. Thanks for watching, and as always, there'll be plenty more to come.